People literally, they tuned into the stream, went to bed, woke up, went to work or whatever the heck, and then went to bed again, and then they woke up. Like, I, I, I don't know. This is the face of a man who spent the last 27 hours awake playing a party game made for children by himself. But how did we get here? You don't just wake up one day and decide to put yourself through over 24 hours of vivid colors, upbeat music, and constant yelling for no reason. Let's go back to the beginning. In late spring of 2023, a Mario speedrunner by the name of Squeaks attempted to beat all 100 minigames in Mario Party Superstars against master mode computers, the highest difficulty, as fast as possible. In that run, he beat all the minigames for the very first time in six hours, 56 minutes, and 46 seconds. During this run, he had a conversation with a small YouTuber by the name of Ludwig. Hello? Hey, bud. This is where I come in, sort of. Squeaks at the time claimed that there was no way that Ludwig could possibly beat his time. You really don't think I could beat you? No, there's no way you can. But little did he know that five years prior, the very same Ludwig had been tuning into my own streams where I would speedrun Mario Party 2's very own version of this challenge, the minigame coaster, and talked with me about strats for the run. Shortly after that, Ludwig got involved in the speedrunning scene himself and went on to claim the Mario Party 2 minigame coaster world record. Fuck yeah! That's it! Let's go! In fact, if you go to Ludwig's YouTube channel, you'll see that one of the first videos he posted on his rise to the top of the creator space was this run. He had been a Mario Party veteran from the very beginning. So, what does all this have to do with that clip at the beginning, or even the title of the video? Well, let's just say Ludwig didn't take kindly to such a claim by Squeaks, and for many weeks, the two battled back and forth over this all minigames challenge, constantly driving both of their times down. But that wasn't all. Their rivalry sparked an interest in the speedrun in a way that it never had before. For a few months in mid-2023, it was almost like you couldn't go on Twitch without finding some big streamer attempting the speedrun on their own. A few months after that, Ludwig held his very own $1,000 Mario Party World Cup with four big-name creators and active speedrunners of the game competing to win a pretty hefty sum of cash just from being good at a few minigames. Oh, I'm dumb. Was it last? Yeah, far left. What? Oh. No oh, way! What? Holy shit! Because of all this, quite a few people came to me about it. They knew I had speedrun various Mario Party games in the past, and they wanted to know if I was planning on getting involved. At the time, the answer was no. I had my own projects going on, and honestly, I didn't know if I had it in me to still grind out speedruns like I had in the past. In fact, around this time, Ludwig had been browsing the Mario Party Twitch directory to see who'd been copying his speedrun, and pointed out how I was one of the only people there not participating at the time. Race fires live? He's just playing Mario Party for fun. Besides, the speedrun is genuinely hard. He's losing a mashing! I fucking hate mashing! I mean, Mario Party's master mode computers are no joke. So close! So close! Wait, I just broke my button, it's all frayed. Squeak's first run was nearly seven hours, and many of the streamers I watched had times ranging from anywhere between three to five hours as well, which was a pretty big time commitment. But one day in late summer of 2023, everything changed. I had a big move coming up, and I didn't want to commit to a large-scale stream idea, but still wanted to go live, so I was looking for some simple things to put on my schedule. Since I'd already been doing some similar content with Mario Party Superstars in recent weeks, I figured this would be as good a time as any, and I'll admit, I was captivated by the idea, so I finally gave the run a shot. Almost instantly, it was like I had teleported back to 2018 at the height of my Mario Party speedrunning era. Ooh, wait a minute, I'm kind of gaming! I was hooked. Given the high run times that I had been seeing from other creators when they started, I was a bit worried about my own first attempt at this sort of thing. I will never actually make it through the run. Like, how will I... how will I do that? My streams usually start late in the evening and run for about four to five hours, so... If the run went longer than that, we'd have some real issues. Can they please blow up? Please just explode. I mean, seven hours? Would it really take that long? Fortunately, things went better than expected. I did run into a few initial snags here and there on my first run. I don't even know where I am. <laughs> Are you kidding me, man? But 
My experience in both Mario Party Superstars as well as the previous games in the series was enough for me to clock in a first run time of 3 hours, 47 minutes, and 47 seconds. That's it. Mission complete. World record. <laughs> With lots of room for improvement. We have five more to go. About a week or so later, I had knocked off an hour and brought my PB down to just under two and a half hours in my final stream before the big move. While I was moving and didn't have access to my setup, I had lots of time to myself, allowing me to brainstorm ideas for content. And that's when it hit me. The 1K. Now, if you've seen any videos on my channel before, you know I'm more than willing to go to great lengths to attempt a dumb challenge that no one else is willing to do, including beating 1,000 Mario Maker levels in one sitting. This got me thinking, what if I attempted the same exact thing in Mario Party Superstars? Let's do the math here. The Master Mode All Minigame Speedrun is exactly 100 games, which means that if I did 10 runs back to back, that would be a perfect 1,000. The issue was, would this even be possible? If you multiply my first runtime by 10, that comes in at nearly 38 hours, over an entire day and a half. However, if you use my PB time that I set right before I had to pack everything up to move, that time comes down significantly to just over 24 and a half hours. If I lower my time by just 5 more minutes down to a 2.22, that brings the runtime down to 23 hours and 50 minutes, or under one full day. It would be a long shot, and I would need to improve a lot, but just maybe I could pull it off. About a week later, after getting everything set up at the new place, I returned to streaming with a renewed interest in the speedrun and quickly threw the idea out there to my chat. While most people were supportive, there were understandably a few people skeptical of the idea, given especially how new I was to the run. But I really wanted to pull this off, and I figured a big stream like this would be a great way to break in the new place, so I got to work. Week in and week out, I grinded the run, doing my best to absorb as many strategies as possible for individual minigames, including spending an extended amount of time playing some of the more tricky games in the run. I'm looking at you and your five second music loop, stick and spin. I mean, seriously? You guys created a whole game out of this with 99 levels and there's only one song? Oh my god, I can't take it anymore. Please make it stop. I'm gonna lose it if I have to listen to this song one more time. Oh my god, turn it off, please! After a few weeks of practice, I ended my final run with a PB time of nearly 2 hours and 20 minutes. Very good, Peach. Close it out, close it out, close it out, close it out. Big. Uh, 2.22.03, very nice, pretty good. Okay, how many, how many sec, or how many minutes is this PB? 142 times 10 divided by 60. Bringing my estimate down to under 24 hours for the first time. This time wasn't great, but I was confident in the practice I had put in and knew that my time would likely go even further during the event itself, so I felt confident. I can do it in under 24 hours. I just need to do that run 10 times. It was time. On the morning of August 19th, I woke up ready for action. I hadn't gotten as much sleep as I had wanted due to some last minute review and prep on some of the mini games I was most concerned about, but I felt confident that the adrenaline of the run would be more than enough to get me through it. Despite this, I could still feel there was a part of me that was uncertain about it. While I had done many lengthy challenges like this in the past, they all had fairly predictable end times. With this, all it would take would be a single bad run to push me back beyond the 24 hour mark and honestly I wasn't certain how much past that I'd be able to manage. But as I was in the shower getting ready for the big stream, I heard my phone go off. When I picked it up to see what it was, what I saw was something a bit unexpected. I had been tagged in a tweet by the 8-bit drummer. He had been keeping up with my prep himself, and he did an entire drum cover of the best minigame song in the world just to hype me up on the big day, and it worked. I mean, just listen to this. It slaps. This got me so hyped up that I quickly finished up my pre-stream meal and immediately ran to the stream, ready for action. Rainfire, Fire. this is your fault! I know this <laughs> song perfectly because of you! <laughs> hey man, I don't want to know it either, okay? <laughs> and just like that, we were off. The first run went almost exactly as I would expect. Boom, there it is. Ball game down. Not too bad. And what I would need in order for a run of this magnitude to be possible. New record! We did it! 
With a PB of 222 going into this run, run number one came in just two minutes slower at 224. That's run one completed. We had a 224 first run. 224, 53, that's good, that's good. A solid start, and at this point, assuming every run would come in at around this time, my current estimate would be exactly 24 hours, which was perfect. However, things quickly took a turn for the worst. Another run going in. Oh, unlucky. Going into run number two, not only did I have to spend nearly 10 minutes just on a single minigame, Bowser's Big Blast, but the run as a whole was an absolute disaster. All of the puzzle and random minigames in the run proved to be an issue. Oh my god, that was so rough. Even some of the skill-based ones proved to cause me some unexpected hangups, forcing this run and the entire 1K to fall way behind schedule, with run number two coming in at over two hours and 50 minutes. Go, go, go. No, no, no. Nice. 2.50, like 45. A far cry from what I needed to stay on pace. Fortunately, I did have some comedic relief in the form of my good friend, The Grindle, who fielded questions from my Twitch chat while I made my way through this run. Ramjet engines are all the rage because they have no moving parts. Wow. Plus, they can reach some insane speeds. Perfect for those of us who appreciate the need for speed like Lightning McQueen. <laughs> VTubers are not some grand government conspiracy to rob you of your precious coins. Now go back to your basement and don't forget to check out my Twitch stream where I expose the truth about thwomp oppression. ka -chow. Ah, bedtime, huh? Well, I suppose even the dim-witted need their beauty sleep. What? Fine, I'll humor you. Good night, you knucklehead. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Or maybe they should, considering the company you keep. Now scram. k -chow, Lightning McQueen style. Lightning McQueen style. But there were some real doubts that crept into my mind early. It's okay, this run's not gonna PB anyways. This run is atrocious. At this point, I had been live for nearly six hours already, and I hadn't even started run number three. Not a good look. But I wasn't about to lay down and accept defeat that early. The god run begins now. We're cooking. I think DK is gonna go the distance. I'm feeling confident about this. Firing back on run number three, I came in with a new personal best of 218. 218.32, I think. Yes. Run completed. That's a PB by four minutes. With three runs done, the average of these times came in to be about two hours and 30 minutes, or a final run time estimate of just over 25 hours. Run number four started off miserably with a pretty weak puzzle game section, including 15 minutes just to make it through Mario's Puzzle Party. Wario, can you die? I'm sorry, maybe that's not, maybe that's not what someone who's having fun should say. My bad, my bad, my bad. Hey guys, it's fun, I promise. However, immediately following the puzzle games, I picked up the pace for the rest of this run and ended it with a 219. Just let me get the, give me the finisher, dude. Thank you. Wait, what was my split time? <laughs> we'll say 219.45. Thank you for the vine boom. This both brought me back on track and lowered my overall estimate for the 1K as a whole. As the sun went down around this point and I pushed into the late night hours, this was where the real test of endurance would happen. Because going into run number five, this is around the time my normal streams would end. Don't get me wrong, I'm a big night owl already, but sitting alone in a room with a bright light shining at your face in the dead of night while you're still trying to perform to the best of your abilities takes a lot out of you. Besides, this is also the time that a lot of my existing viewer base goes to bed, as most of the people who watch my content are also in the US. That's not to say that there wouldn't be anyone watching, but the chat would noticeably slow down the later into the night it got, leaving me more time alone with my own thoughts. Which, if you've been awake late at night with your own thoughts before, you know how spooky that can be. Okay, there's this one, classic, gotta put this one on, right? Fortunately, I did my best to keep morale up through incredible banter. Hey, I've always had it together. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I've, I've, I've always had it together, man. I've always had it. See? The vine boom doesn't lie. <laughs> Bart sound equals funny. Fantastic stories. You know, I actually did stuff with Grand Pooh Bear back in the Fortnite days, which seems really weird because we both play Mario. And so, this was completely off both of our streams, like, neither of us were live. I go into a Discord call with him, like, years ago, and we're like, okay, how do we make the Eiffel Tower in Fortnite? 
and stellar gameplay. Nice stack. I miscounted. I knew this day would come. It's the end of the road for me. It's Jover. It's only a matter of time. And finished run number five with a time of two hours, 15 minutes, and five seconds. Another PB. I didn't see my time. What was my time? <laughs> That was a PB by like two minutes or something, or three minutes. I don't know what the time was though. Things were looking up. Maybe that second run was just a blip after all. I mean, every other run had remained surprisingly consistent and it really felt like my practice was beginning to pay off. But then in run number six, it happened. The run started off hot with Bowser's Big Blast and Honeycomb Havoc going near perfectly. I solved stress and I solved this game too. But then on mini game number three, Mario's Puzzle Party. I collapsed. Ooh, okay. Yeah, this minigame is fun when you're playing against not whatever these guys are. <laughs> I don't know how or why it happened, but this minigame, which is generally fairly straightforward, got to me. Okay, it's no longer winnable. I just couldn't do it. And with every failure, the pressure compounded. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's actually big. Dude, Wario, come on, man. I had a big break and you ruined it. At this point, it was the dead of night, and with still over 400 minigames to be played, I sat there in disbelief. Dude, Wario is broken! As the timer continued to count upwards. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, and after nearly 30 minutes, finally, I made it out. Okay, now we have two more awful puzzle games to get through, but at least one of them is a ball game. But the damage had been done. I did some quick mental math in my head, and if every minigame in this run took as long as that one just had, this run would have taken me nearly 500 hours. A far cry from the 24-hour estimate I was hoping for. Normally, most speedrunners wouldn't even continue a run this bad, but I was 14 hours into this challenge, and resetting run 6 just to protect my bruised ego was out of the question. So I did my best to push forward through the night and make the most of this run. This minigame is hard to do when you need food. That shell is moving really fast, man. Fortunately, with a solid second half of the run, I was able to stim the bleeding as best as I could, and run six came in with a time of two hours and 40 minutes. That was a little dicey, dude, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't, I didn't know if we were gonna make it out of that one. Not ideal, but salvageable. As the sun began to rise, I took some extended time before beginning run seven to grab some early morning fuel a bit of caffeine, and run some water over my face. It was during this time that I had to really think long and hard about whether or not to continue. Because if I completed one to two more runs, I'd be too close to the finish line to quit, regardless of how long I'd been awake. But if I called it quits now, I'm sure no one would think any less of me, and I could always try again in the future. But I wasn't about to let the game get the best of me that easily, so I stormed back to my setup. I was making waffles, I ate them. They were very good and with my protein shake in hand, plunged into run seven. Here we go, run going in. Three, two, one, go. With my room beginning to flood with light in the early hours of the morning, my chat beginning to pick back up as more of my viewers woke up from their sleep, and myself now re-energized mentally and physically, I destroyed this run. Normally you'd expect performance to deteriorate the further into a run like this you got, but somehow, after nearly 19 hours of streaming, I PB'd again. Come on, man. Hurry it up. He's taking his sweet time. Dude, that is a mega PB, by the way. This time by over 10 minutes, with a time of two hours, four minutes, and six seconds. That is actually big. Assuming I averaged this time for all 10 runs, my total estimate would be a bit over 20 hours and 30 minutes, which is significantly below the 24-hour milestone I was shooting for. If I could perform at this level even remotely for the remaining three runs, just maybe I could actually pull this whole thing off. Well, my advice to your precious rays is simple. Get good, scrub. Speed running ain't for the <laughs> okay, faint dude. of heart. Run eight went similarly, coming in at a 2.10.18. 2.10.18. That's not bad. That's that run completed. Had this run happened before run seven, this would have also been a PB. I'm not sure if it was the break I took after my brief collapse on run six, the third energy drink that I had put into my system at 7 a.m., or the talking Grindel that I had stayed up late programming for my chat the night before. I suppose the great minds at Twitch finally realized 
They couldn't handle the magnificence that is my stream. Don't fret, my dear friend. I'll find another platform to showcase my brilliance. In the meantime, I'll be waiting for you to apologize for not checking out my stream sooner. Ka-chow. Dude, he's going to kicks.com. We've lost him. But it felt like the further into the stream I got, the better I did, which is the opposite of what you'd expect. With only two runs left to go and the sun now fully up, the finish line was officially in sight. I'm, I'm thinking that we really brought it back a bit, though, because after the second run, the time estimate was looking to be like 30 hours, and I'm glad we avoided that, <laughs> kind of. But I wasn't out of the woods just yet. My stream had now been live for nearly 22 hours, which meant I had now been officially awake for over 24 hours on my own. Because of this, despite all of my energy drinks that I had already consumed, and the second wind that I had gotten in the early morning hours to keep me going, I was quickly running out of steam. I was very clearly exhausted, my voice was shot, and I could feel myself beginning to fade at a rapid rate. I, I almost forgot to show that guy's cat. And then everyone would have been up in arms about James Bartholomew the Third, the Fifth, the Wacky and Knuckles Ultra HD Remix. Like, let's say some dude asked him about, like, his opinion on you know, politics, or some some political issue, and then someone's like, what's your favorite animal? And he's like, well, I already, t I was already talking about, I was already talking about animals, are you trying to change the subject on me? Or whatever. You know, he's, he's done that type of thing before, where, like, he'll, like, be distracted by what you're saying now, because he's too caught up on what someone said before. So, on run number nine, I made a judgment call. I basically delegated all of the entertaining to this talking cube in the corner. I adore that race car, with his flashy red exterior and his zest for speed. I often sprinkle his catchphrase, "kachow" into my words as a tribute to his tireless pursuit of victory, and instead put all of my mental energy into the gameplay itself. Weirdly enough, this worked. My chat was able to use their channel points to ask him questions, and while they laughed at his responses, I flew through the minigames. By the 40 minute mark, I had already completed 27 games. For reference, on run number 6, when everything had fallen apart, I was only at 3 at this point. This run didn't stop there, however, and before I knew it, this run came in at a 158.57. Under 2 hours for the very first time. Sub 2. Lightning McQueen would be proud. 158.57. Oh, that's big! That's huge, actually. We got 158. Under two hours after being away for 24 hours. <laughs> what? That's actually nuts. Very nice. This run was insane. Somehow, despite being live for nearly 24 hours and being awake for over 27 hours at this point, I had pulled off the best run of the entire stream, and to this day, one of the best runs that I've ever accomplished in this game. Maybe I was going to make it after all, but I couldn't pat myself on the back just yet. There was still one more run to go, and it wasn't going to let me off so easily. Dude, my light just came on. It's the demon. Okay, you got you, you probably can't tell on the camera, but there's a, there's a ceiling fan light in here, and it just turned on randomly. I didn't do anything. I don't know why it turned on. This run was, to put it simply, a disaster. Remember that 40-minute comparison I was using a second ago? Somehow this run was even worse than run 6, with it taking me nearly 45 minutes just to finish four minigames. By the one hour mark, I had only finished 11. I wasn't going to let that deter me though, because this deep into the run, every minigame I completed was a major accomplishment. At this point, I had officially been live for over 24 hours, was nearing 30 hours of being awake, and I had essentially no voice. Lightning McQueen, he's nuts. <laughs> he's devolving. This final run was a true battle of attrition, and I wasn't about to come so close just to fall short, right at the finish line. As run 10 crossed the 26 hour mark, I still had 33 games to go, but I was holding on, just barely. Well, since you insist on using JQ Query, here's what your JavaScript would look like. JavaScript dollar Ajax URL <laughs> DSNuts.php <laughs> method get data type JSON. Did he here. say uh, error, uh, error uh, function uh, uh, status uh, error slash slash handle broken. any errors here <laughs> if you're capable? I'm terrified. As for an example, I'm in response, sleep in well, I'm feeling 25 hours How about he's this? yelling at me. Jason Tosh message. Hey there, it's me, D's Nuts. In fact, around this point, my mom even showed up to the stream and seemed genuinely concerned. 
My voice was completely shot and my mind was just trying to keep itself awake. So with the little bit of voice I had left, I just sort of rambled while I played on autopilot. Dear Inquirer, the answer I'm kind to of your just, bald versus the past, hair like, quandary hour, depends I'm just on been letting the preference. Grindel take over. Some may embrace partially the smooth just aerodynamics of a I think bald even head, if you wasn't others here, might I wouldn't be. I don't know if I would have anything to say. As for me, I'd say I think being this bald is the longest stream that I've like done. I mean, I did a subathon, but I slept in it, right? Beacon of enlightenment. I can't really recall much of what happened during this point of the run, so enjoy this incredible answer to the age-old question of which came first, the chicken or the egg. Let me enlighten you, my dear inquirer. The answer is quite simple. The speed run of hatching the egg came first, of course. And if you need further proof, just ask any chicken who's been on a world record pace. Lightning McQueen, zoom zoom. What does that mean? He's speaking in code. Do we have to take him out? Finally, with nearly 27 hours of uptime on the clock, there was just a single mini game left. Okay, this is the final one, actually. I need to actually win this time, so we gotta focus up here, Dong Games, okay? I need like 20 more seconds of gameplay out of you. So hold it together, bud. How did I lose? This game is not that hard. I think that's why I skipped it. I was like, surely I won. I blame DK. Looks like a DK skill issue. Okay, that should be it. Let me make sure I win. We've done it. That's the last one. That was it. 26 hours. Somehow I had pulled it off. I'm not sure if it's just because I'm too stubborn to quit, but I had defied my own expectations, crushed my personal best countless times along the way, and persevered through both the external and internal doubt. Was this a good idea? Debatable. Should I have prepared more? Definitely. Anyways, that's all for now. If you enjoyed and want to see me make more bad decisions with my time, make sure to subscribe here on YouTube and follow me over on Twitch to catch those bad decisions live. Thanks for watching. Maybe we'll we'll splurge a little bit and buy a burrito from that one. Sorry, I'm a little I'm a little out of it right now, as you can tell.